Ever wonder how a tiny island nation like Seychelles became the wealthiest country in sub-Saharan Africa? This archipelago, a stunning ensemble of islands strewn across the Indian Ocean, is more than just a tropical paradise. It's a testament to economic resilience and innovative strategies that have propelled Seychelles to the forefront of sub-Saharan prosperity. Tourism is the linchpin of Seychelles' economy, contributing to almost three quarters of its gross domestic product. This is due in part to the country's luxurious resorts, diverse marine life and pristine environment that lure in high-spending tourists from around the globe. But this reliance on tourism isn't without its risks, as external shocks like global recessions or pandemics can cause significant disruptions. A prime example was the recent COVID-19 crisis, which led to a temporary contraction in the country's GDP. The Seychelles' economic journey is a fascinating tale of resilience and innovative strategies. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this captivating story of paradise and progress. Tourism is the lifeblood of the Seychelles' economy. This enchanting archipelago, a string of islands strewn across the Indian Ocean, draws in high-spending tourists from around the globe. They come for the pristine beaches, the luxury resorts, and the diverse marine life that call these islands home. And their spending has a significant impact. In fact, tourism contributes to nearly three quarters of the country's gross domestic product, making it the engine that powers the Seychelles economy. But as with any engine, there are gears that need to be carefully monitored and maintained. The Seychelles' reliance on tourism presents a vulnerability, a susceptibility to external shocks like global economic downturns or pandemics. The recent COVID-19 crisis served as a stark reminder of this fact. The pandemic caused a temporary contraction in the country's GDP, a dip in the otherwise steady stream of revenue from tourism. But the Seychelles tourism industry is nothing if not resilient. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, the industry bounced back quickly, showcasing its ability to weather storms and continue churning out economic success. This resilience, this ability to adapt and recover, is a testament to the strength of the Seychelles tourism sector. And yet, there's more to the Seychelles economic success than just tourism. While it's true that this industry is the powerhouse, it's not the only house. The Seychelles government recognizes the need for diversification, for broadening the economic base to ensure stability and continued growth. Efforts are underway to bolster other sectors, such as fishing, and to explore new avenues for revenue such as sustainable marine resource use. Indeed, tourism is the powerhouse of Seychelles' economy, yet there's more to this island nation's economic success. The resilience of the tourism industry, the efforts toward diversification, the emphasis on sustainability, all these factors contribute to the Seychelles' prosperity. And as we look to the future, it's clear that this delicate balance, this blend of economic growth and environmental preservation will continue to be the key to the Seychelles' success. The Seychelles government is not resting on its laurels. Indeed, acknowledging the risks of an economy heavily reliant on tourism, efforts are underway to diversify. One of these avenues is the fishing sector, which is rapidly gaining traction. The Indian Ocean Tuna Company, for instance, employs a significant number of Seychelles residents and contributes substantially to the economy, second only to tourism. This growth in the fishing industry represents a broader shift towards a more balanced economy. Beyond fishing, the Seychelles government is also tapping into the potential of the blue economy. This concept, which refers to the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, is opening up exciting new possibilities. Innovative initiatives in sectors such as aquaculture, ocean energy production, and marine conservation are not only diversifying the economy, but also helping to preserve the very environment that makes Seychelles so attractive to tourists. However, diversification isn't the only strategy propelling Seychelles' economic success. The nation also holds the title of the least corrupt country in Africa, according to Transparency International. This is no small feat. A transparent and accountable government fosters trust, attracting both local and international investors. Moreover, it encourages responsible business practices, which are essential for healthy and sustainable economic growth. This combination of diversification and anti-corruption efforts is creating a robust and resilient economy. It's an economy that can weather storms, whether they be global recessions 
or pandemics and bounce back stronger. It's an economy that is not just about making money, but also about preserving the environment and improving the lives of the people who call Seychelles home. In conclusion, Seychelles is making strides in diversification and maintaining a transparent government, both vital for sustainable economic growth. While tourism will likely continue to be a significant contributor to the nation's GDP, these efforts ensure that Seychelles' economy isn't a one-trick pony. Instead, it's becoming a diverse and dynamic powerhouse, capable of withstanding challenges and seizing opportunities for a prosperous future. There are challenges on the horizon, but Seychelles is preparing to meet them head-on. The Seychelles' economic triumph, while impressive, is not without its trials. One significant challenge is environmental degradation, an imminent threat to the natural beauty that fuels its tourism sector. But the government is not standing idle. It's making great strides in promoting sustainability, aiming to strike a delicate balance between economic growth and environmental preservation. They're transitioning to a low-carbon economy, harnessing renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, encouraging energy-efficient practices, and implementing sustainable waste management strategies. These initiatives are not just about preserving the environment, they're about ensuring the longevity of Seychelles' economic success. The stability of Seychelles' currency, the rupee, is another key aspect of its economic stability. The central bank operates a managed float system, allowing the rupee's exchange rate to fluctuate within a predetermined range. This approach helps control inflation and attracts foreign investment contributing to the long-term stability of the economy. With tourism inflows expected to remain steady, the rupee is likely to maintain its stability in the foreseeable future. But it's not all smooth sailing. Despite its impressive GDP per capita, Seychelles faces the issue of income inequality. The wealth distribution in the country remains uneven, with a portion of the population still grappling with poverty. In response, the government is implementing social programs aimed at poverty alleviation. These initiatives have already begun to bear fruit, with poverty levels seeing a slight decrease in recent years. The road ahead is fraught with challenges, but with careful planning and execution, Seychelles can continue its march towards a sustainable and equitable future. In summary, Seychelles' economic journey is a delicate dance, a balancing act between preserving its natural allure maintaining economic growth, and ensuring equitable wealth distribution. It's a complex task, but one that Seychelles is tackling with determination and ingenuity. It's a testament to the island nation's resilience and a beacon of hope for other small economies worldwide.